let's see uh, i'm going to look at hydrogen later on let's see chlorine chlorine the element is cl group number is found in group seven number of outermost electron there should be seven valency eight minus seven that's one number of covalent bonds form will be equal to one so when i'm drawing the like the skeletal diagram i'm going to have chlorine so there's two chlorine atoms so chlorine one and chlorine two they form one covalent bond so i'm going to draw that one covalent bond and each one is going to contribute one electron so one electron from chlorine red and one electron from chlorine blue so once i have this skeletal diagram now i can draw the dot and cross diagram chlorine red chlorine blue chlorine red contributes to one electron chlorine blue contributes to one electron okay so the shared electron pair is at the center it's overlapping um, electron shells now remember that each chlorine should have seven outermost electron so chlorine red already has one here so it should have seven in all so one two three four five six seven it has seven electrons of its own so you can see seven red crosses and chlorine blue should have seven electrons of its own so one already here two three four five six and seven so each chlorine has uh its own number of outermost electron so this is a dot and cross diagram for cl2 let's see for um o2 so the element is oxygen uh the group number is group six number of outermost electron is six valency is eight minus six that's two so number of covalent bonds formed is two so there's two oxygen so i should have oxygen and oxygen it should form two bonds so let me have let me draw it here so oxygen red oxygen blue oxygen each one is forming two bonds so double bond between them and each bond is representing a pair of electron so x is from oxygen red and blue dot is from oxygen blue so when i'm drawing the dot and cross diagram oxygen red contributes two electrons oxygen blue contributes two electrons so here you see two pairs of electrons shared and each oxygen oxygen should have six outermost electron so you should see six crosses so there is one two three four five six oxygen blue again there should be six one two three four five six that's a dot and cross diagram for o2 let's see for hcl so let's see element h and element cl so element h group number well does it have a group number outermost electron there's one valency is one chlorine has group number seven number of outermost electron seven valency one so when we draw the skeletal formula there's h sorry so there is h and there is cl so there's a bond between them hydrogen forms one bond chlorine form one bond so one bond between them hydrogen contributes to one 
and chlorine contributes to one. So here we have a single bond between them. Chlorine is forming only a single bond. Hydrogen is forming only a single bond. So when we have the dot and cross diagram, so we'll have the H here. I'm putting the H as a small one because hydrogen has only one shell. Chlorine here, they are forming, they are sharing one pair of electrons. So that's the dot from chlorine. That's the cross from hydrogen. Chlorine should have seven outermost electrons. So there should be seven dots. One already there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven dots. So that's the dot and cross diagram for HCl. Hydrogen has only one outermost electron. So that one cross is already there. You are going to try for HF because it's going to be the same as HCl.